Hello guys, today I want to show you how to create a form in Vue.js that would be divided into tabs. So in here we have three tabs. To create a trip we need to specify from destination to destination and the amount of passengers. And first I will show you how that form works and then we will dive into the code of Vue.js and I will show you how it works in the code. And this whole form is dynamic based on Vue.js component and if you choose a country then there's a city list populated then you specify the date without date picker in this case and then when you go to next then the second tab automatically is activated you click on that you specify those two you specify another date then you click next and then the third tab appears and then we fill in the third tab the price is automatically calculated which is irrelevant in this case and when you did fill all the tabs, then you can go back and edit something. But only if the tabs are validated. So we can still change tab number two and tab number three. And if all three tabs are validated with data, the button changes from next to submit. And then the post request goes to the server. So this is how it works. Now let's take a look at the code. So in the code we have our Laravel project. It's not a single page application. It's not view first. So it's a typical Laravel project actually based on our quick admin panel for the forms. But inside of one form we have Vue.js component like this. And that trip form corresponds to the component trip form dot view. And every Vue.js component consists of two things template and script. And first let's take a look at template. It's a typical bootstrap styled navigation bars. So nav and nav tabs and every tab is aligned with nav item and with nav link. You can find everything about how it actually works in bootstrap documentation like this with examples with classes. What is interesting here for us is dynamic attributes. So class is active only if current step is one. And I will show you in a minute what current step is. So actually we have two variables here, current step and max step. Current step is what is active currently and max step what was the max step that was actually completed. That is for the case that someone goes back to the first step, then current step is one, but max step can be two or three. So every tab can have two classes, active or disabled. First tab is always enabled and it can be active or not. Other tabs is disabled on some conditions. So until max step is two, it's disabled. And here's the third condition. And activity is based on current step. And then on every tab click, on click of the link, there's a method go to step with parameter one, two, or three. A little further, we have tab content. So every tab has its own content. And there we have the show corresponding to the same condition. It's showing when the current step is one. Then we have the fields for every tab. This is not that relevant to us. What is relevant is this one. So at the end of each tab, there's a button which is next by default the label of the button, but if max step is three, which means that all three steps are completed, then it changes to submit. But it changes only the name. The method on click of the button is the same, which is called advanced step. And we have two methods here actually, advanced step on the click of next button, and then go to step on click of every tab. And let me show you what they are. Let's scroll down to the script section. These are all variables and parameters which will go for submission of the form. And we shouldn't care that much about that. These are two that we should care about. So current step and max step by default all equals to one. Then there is some more JavaScript code which is not relevant to this lesson. So we get the countries list. We calculate the price by some logic of the month. Then we get cities on change of the countries. And then there's method validate, which is relevant to us. But let's start from advanced step. Advanced step happens when we click next or submit actually. First, if it's not validated, then we do nothing. We just return. And what is inside of validate? Let's take a look. It's pretty straightforward actually. It returns true or false, which means validated data or not. If current step is one that we validate from country, from city and from date, and this is empty method is from Lodash library. You can check it at lodash.com, but you can check empty things in other syntax. So that is not required. But anyway, you return false if any of those fields are empty. And similar to current step two, but just we validate different fields. And then for current step three, we validate even other different fields. So each fields for every step. So let's get back to our advanced step. So if the data is not validated, we don't do anything. So if someone clicks next, but the data is not valid, then we do nothing. But if the data is valid, then if max step is three, then we submit the form. Submit form is just Axios post with all that data. We don't really care about that. Let's get back. 
advanced step increases the current step variable and then if max step is lower than that it increases max step as well and that's it this method doesn't really activate the tabs visually right but remember this variable is the condition for those tabs to appear so current step if we scroll up is actually the condition v show of current step one is for the first tab v show with current step two is for the second tab and similar for the third tab so we actually work with variables current step and max step and everything visually changes automatically with that and the only difference between advanced step which is happening on the next button and the tab method go to step is just go to step is mostly for moving back so to change only the current step but it doesn't change the max step in theory we would probably get away with one method instead of two but this is the implementation for this demo maybe it would be your homework so that's it this is how you handle that thing in Vue.js so you work with private variables like current step or max step and then change them based on some button clicks and then visually all the conditions like v show or v if will hide or show some elements so the form will feel dynamic and then as soon as you're ready with all the form, then you can do post with all the variables from the component. That's it for this video. But if you want to dive deeper into Vue.js and specifically with single page application for the forms, I have a full course on that with two hours of videos about creating Vue CRUD with SPA and Laravel API. The link to that is on the screen and in the video description. So you can enroll in that or see you guys in other videos on this YouTube channel.